Jason. Well, as fans across the country were filling out their NCAA tournament brackets, the Sanford Bulldogs were on a plane heading to first round play. WBTM 13's Julian Mitchell joins us now, and the sports team is going to have a busy week ahead, Julian. Yes, that is right. I'm leaving tomorrow to cover Alabama, Auburn, and UAB in the NCAA tournament. Our sports director, Ryan Hennessy, flew with the Sanford Bulldogs to Salt Lake City as they head to the first NCAA tournament in 20 plus years. Welcome into Salt Lake City. The Bulldogs officially dancing in March Madness. We arrived here with the team and they're ready for their Thursday matchup against the Kansas Jayhawks. Earlier today, the team arrived in Salt Lake City with a quest to make history in March. First up, round number one, Kansas and head coach Bill Self, who has two national championships under his belt already. So he knows March well. As for Bucky McMillan and this team, First time around for them after winning the SOCON, a big challenge, but they're excited to put Sanford on the national stage. You look at the seating, we're 13 seed. What do we have to be nervous about, right? I mean, pressure's not on us in this game. So let's go out there and let's play fearless and let's be who we are. You got a bus full of guys that when they came up, were told they probably weren't good enough. And I think that's what makes them who they are is that we play with no sense of entitlement. I had a chance to fly with the Bulldogs over here to Salt Lake City on Wednesday. They'll have practice and their final press conference before the big game on Thursday. Stay with WVTM 13 throughout the week as the Bulldogs look to make history in March. Here in Salt Lake City, Ryan Hennessy, WVTM 13. Looks beautiful there in Salt Lake. Tip off between Sanford and Kansas, except for 8.55 on Thursday. WVTM 13 is your only local station that will have you covered in both Spokane and Salt Lake City for March Madness. Guy.